been trying to polish aluminium for the last probably six or seven months. I've got a machine, I've got one of those little rotary tools and I came across this guy on the internet on YouTube um, who does it by hand and gets a fabulous uh, result and using some of his techniques uh, I thought I'd have a go on this rocker cover. Now this was pretty badly scored with quite a lot of marks on it and um, it's a pity I didn't show that but this is a spare I had so I thought I'd have a go with it and this is the uh, system that he recommends and some of the points are counterintuitive I guess but um, he's a French polisher into doing aluminium. So the first thing that um, I've done with this is that I've rubbed out all those uh, really deep scratches with 600 wet and dry in dry format. What he suggests is not to wet it at all and that's where I, I said before it's counterintuitive because you'd think that putting the water on it that keeps these grits clear um, and so the cutting action happens but if you continue to use this paper on this sort of aluminium cover without the water it starts to polish anyway it's really bizarre um, I don't know if you can see that but it it, <laughs> it actually starts to polish so that's what I'm going to do I'm, I'm, I'm doing as he suggests I'm starting with this 600 and I'll work through um, taking all these pits out with a 600 till I'm happy they're all gone there's, there's quite a deep one there, I, I don't know if you can see it but it will come out eventually because I've taken most of them out and then I'll move on to um, a thousand grit and I'll come back when I start getting some results with that but just this dry paper without the water and I'm already seeing quite a high shine right so I'm done with the 600 and up close you can see some very very fine uh, marks from the paper which I'm not too concerned about because this is a process of getting finer and finer and finer and so the next stage is to go with my 1000 wet and dry and I'll come back to you after I've polished that off and be discreet with this video because if my wife finds out I'm polishing the house she'll go absolutely nuts thanks so I've done the thousand grit now and once I've cleaned it off with a piece of rag I've found that I can still see some of those remnants of the deep uh, scratches that were in right from the beginning so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the 600 and see if I can just get those out um, just to make it perfect there's a couple of lines there I doubt if you can see them but you might be able to um, so that's what I'm going to do next so now we're up to 15 grit, um, 1500 grit paper and say still with a dry technique as long as you cross hatch it left to right what have you you might see some lines in that but when you clean it off actually those lines move um, around so it's just swirl marks from the paper and so once I've done plenty of dry polishing um, with this 1500 paper I'm going to move on to 2000 and finally 2500 I'm rubbing a piece of uh, aluminium with paper so I'm not going to do any more on the actual paper but uh, I'll come back once I've completed the full stages so that's 600,000, 1500, 2000 and 2500 um, wet and dry paper what is remarkable is that you can now see that there's actually shine on the paper so it's having a polishing effect um, so I'm going to continue just a little bit more before I go to the final polishing with the uh, polishing cream but so far I'd be happy with that on my bike just with the paper to 2500 wet or dry although as I say it's just dry and it's got polish um, effect from the paper which is beginning to get smoother and smoother and, and it's now beginning to polish the metal okay so we're at the final polishing stage and this is following the technique of this guy who was a French polisher first of all we need to create a thing that the French polishers call a boot which I'm using cotton t-shirt here an old cotton t-shirt apparently that's the type of material you should be using and uh, you know, years gone by when I've used these materials I've just used a piece of cloth wrapped up in my hand not this sort of solid lump like this and polished away with my fingertips and then changed the cloth and then put more polish on and changed the cloth apparently that's all wrong um, so this is the technique that he suggests so this is the um, rocker cover off the Norton which is now sanded and I'd be happy with that on the bike as I say as a 
at 2500 but I'm just going to give it this ultra final polish um, so I'm using this uh, Mother's Magan Alloy Polish, although I've used the technique uh, a couple of days ago just to try it with Solval Autosol and it works exactly the same. So I'm just going to dab a tiny bit of the um, material onto this boot and start polishing uh, in little circles all around. Now it goes black uh, fairly quickly, but apparently that is what it should do and you just keep going and going and going you don't apply any more material you just keep going this starts to get black and it'll go really hard and well sort of squidgy almost seems to become liquid does the polish um, and I'll, I'll come back to that as it does it so we polish and polish and polish and eventually this polish will start to come back off and you'll start seeing the bright material underneath and it also starts to drag. Um, this this boot's not really up to speed yet, but trust me, you just keep going and keep going. Right, I'm almost at the stage now where you you can't hear the abrasive action of the polish anymore. Um, it sort of becomes really slick and smooth and almost liquid. Um, now, normally in the past, I'd have packed in at that point and cleaned it off and started again, but no, you should keep going and keep going and keep going until eventually right starting now it begins to drag so we've gone through that super silky move there's no abrasive sound it's actually dragging quite hard just keeping the pressure on and dragging and dragging and dragging and eventually this sort of blackness um, on the material will start to disappear and the shine will come through and you keep going until that happens so no need to take this material off um, this boot as I say still isn't quite worn in yet um, and we'll just keep going and I'll come back to you when that starts to happen okay so now I've been polishing away with this cloth for about not that long 10, 10 minutes maybe and if you can see that this super shine started to come through now the blackness off the cloth has gone, that cloth has developed a real good shine on it, it's almost like that paper was. Um, and I just keep going with that and the more I rub, the more that shine comes through, the more you see the black material going. But I tell you what, I'm going to put a little bit more polish on because this is getting I can still feel it, it's not really packed with hard polish yet so I'm going to just do that a bit more, I did this a few days ago and it was better as this sort of area here becomes loaded up with the polish it sort of goes really hard and if you've ever seen any of those videos with the the wheels that polish you can see they have that similar effect on it it, it, it looks like it's really sort of hard and smooth so uh, just say I'm going to put a little bit more polish on um, and, uh, and just work that more into the metal and I'll just keep going until I'm happy that I've got the finish I want but that's that's the technique at the end I'll show you the finished piece um, so I've been doing this wrong all these years this whole process probably take me about half an hour 40 minutes a lot of <laughs> more on me than on the piece but having said that um, it's something I've just been doing while I've been watching the film and making this this video and I think the investments worth it I'm, I mean, I'm get fed up with doing these on the machines and this is somewhat therapeutic so I'll just keep going and I'm really really happy with that and once it gets a final polish it'll look absolutely prefer perfect well thanks for watching and uh, I'll show you at the end the last piece but uh, that's that's the technique this guy told me about and he should have just put it under metal polishing and motorcycle parts rather than just saying how to polish because it took me a lot of time to find it but wow um, what a revelation so I'm at my very final stage now I'm just polishing the rocker cover um, with a microfiber cloth and uh, that's how it's turned out after the work I've done on it it's almost like chrome it's beautiful I'm going to lose a little Dremel just to get these bits cleaned um, before it goes back on but considering this was a damaged one which I didn't think was capable of being brought back to this standard I'm really really happy with that and that's hand polishing and I'm so glad that I came across that little guy with his video 
and able to share it with you. Thanks for watching.